What if one of the deadliest days in your country's history was just yesterday? This is the reality Israel faced on October 7, 2023. On that fateful day, the militant group Hamas launched an all-out assault on Israel from the Gaza Strip. This was not just a land attack, it was a full-scale assault by air and sea. The attack was swift, brutal, and devastatingly effective. In a single day, more than 1,200 people lost their lives, the majority of them Israeli citizens. This marked the deadliest day for Israel since it gained its independence. But the horror didn't end there. Amidst the chaos and destruction, more than 240 people were taken hostage during the attack. The following day, Israel found itself in a position it hadn't been in since the Yom Kippur War of 1973. For the first time in 50 years, Israel declared itself in a state of war. The Israel Defense Forces sprang into action, conducting airstrikes on the Gaza Strip. This was a strategic move, a countermeasure to the assault launched by Hamas. But it was only the beginning. In the weeks that followed, Israel's response escalated to include the incursion of ground troops and armored vehicles into the Gaza Strip. This wasn't just a skirmish or a battle, this was an all-out war, the likes of which hadn't been seen in this region for decades. It was a conflict that would test the resolve of the Israel Defense Forces and the Israeli people. It was a war that would put the international spotlight firmly back on the long-standing Israel-Palestine conflict. This was the beginning of a war that would change the region and the world. But how did we end up here? To answer that, we must turn back the hands of time. Let's begin in the year 1948, when the State of Israel was created on a land inhabited by both Jews and Arab Palestinians. This year marks the beginning of hostilities between the two communities, leading to a mass displacement of Palestinians. Many of these displaced Palestinians found refuge in the Gaza Strip, a narrow piece of land roughly the size of Philadelphia, which fell under Egyptian control after the 1948-49 Arab-Israeli War. In 1967, the fate of the Gaza Strip took a drastic turn. During the Six-Day War, Israel occupied the territory, and the status of the Palestinians remained unresolved, leading to recurrent violence in the region. Fast forward to 1993, a glimmer of hope for a peaceful resolution appeared. The Israeli government and the Palestine Liberation Organization, or PLO, reached an agreement on the creation of a Palestinian state alongside an Israeli state. However, Hamas, a militant Palestinian group founded in 1987, rejected this plan and embarked on a terror campaign in an attempt to disrupt it. Their opposition, along with the 1995 assassination of Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin by a Jewish extremist, derailed the peace process. By 2005, following the collapse of the peace process, Israel unilaterally withdrew from the settlements it had constructed in the Gaza Strip since 1967. In 2007, Hamas emerged as the de facto ruler in the Gaza Strip after internal conflict within the Palestinian Authority. This takeover prompted a blockade of the Gaza Strip by Israel and Egypt, setting the stage for a decade and a half of continued unrest. The first significant conflict between Israel and Hamas occurred at the end of 2008, and hostilities continued to break out in 2012, 2014, and 2021. These conflicts were complicated by the high population density of the Gaza Strip, and the proliferation of subterranean tunnels used by Hamas to sidestep the blockade and conduct operations. While these conflicts were devastating for the Gaza Strip and came at a high human cost for Gaza's civilians, they usually lasted only weeks and resulted in few Israeli civilian casualties. However, they weakened Hamas's military capacity and often led to ceasefire agreements that temporarily eased Israel's blockade. This historical context lays the groundwork for understanding the war that unfolded in 2023. So, where does this leave us today and what can we learn from these events? The aftermath of the Israel-Hamas War of 2023 has left a profound impact, not only on the region but also on the world. The physical and emotional scars of the conflict are still fresh, with thousands of lives lost and countless others forever altered. The human cost of this war serves as a stark reminder of the tragic consequences of unresolved disputes and the fragility of peace. 
Moreover, it has further destabilized an already volatile region. The echoes of this conflict reverberate beyond its borders, influencing global politics, economies, and societies. It's a sobering testament to how regional disputes can have far-reaching implications. But amidst the chaos and destruction, there are lessons to be gleaned. The war underscores the urgent need for a sustainable resolution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, one that addresses the core issues and aspirations of both sides. It highlights the importance of diplomacy, negotiation, and international cooperation in preventing such conflicts. Yet perhaps the most crucial takeaway is the reminder of our shared humanity. Despite the divisions and hostilities, the suffering endured by individuals on both sides underscores our common human experience. It's a call to empathy, understanding, and ultimately, peace. Understanding the past is the key to shaping the future. And as we navigate the complexities of the present, let us remember the lessons learned from the Israel-Hamas War of 2023.